You know, I know San Diego both as a Christian and a non-Christian. And as a non-Christian, I was in the worst parts of the city. I'd not only lived in some of the roughest neighborhoods and worst neighborhoods, but uh, I, I run around with the worst crowds and was involved in crime and drugs. And, and I would say I was living in the heart of darkness and getting beat up, beating up others. And this was, this was unfortunately my life in San Diego. And I knew San Diego was a non-Christian that way. And it's so exciting now to see what God is doing, to, to be able to be part of the light and be able to be part of bringing good news even to the worst areas, seeing what God does. God does. I'm excited to share some uh, great news in San Diego. You know, after several years of uh, some pretty difficult times that we went through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations, last few years have been really amazing. It was only a couple years ago that uh, uh, we were kind of restarting everything. We were restarting teen ministry with only a couple of teen Bible talks. And, and we've seen the teen ministry go to from just a couple of small groups to now uh, well over 100, sometimes up to 150 teens gathering for the all congregational teen events. Campus ministry, another miracle story. Uh, we were down to about eight or nine students and uh, just a couple years ago, now we're uh, about 80 students this fall semester, closing out this fall semester. Uh, and you know what's really exciting is, especially this year, is to see every ministry, every region of the church uh, has done an amazing turnaround, growing. All parts of the church are growing. All parts of the ministry are growing. In fact, the fastest growing small group in the church is an empty nester small group. Just in the last 14 months has had seven people baptized and restored in one small group. Also, the Spanish ministry, which is mostly married, uh, they went from about 35 members when they began the Spanish ministry two years ago. They're now about 75 members. God has just been exploding in, the, in, the, in La Comunidad Hispana. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we celebrated a huge anniversary service. Uh, San Diego is kind of a unique congregation. It's been around 50 years. We actually celebrated our 50-year anniversary. Uh, we also uh, just had a great time celebrating the families there. Because of the age of the church, we have families that go not only two generations, but th three generations, even four generation families that go back to the 1960s in the San Diego church. And it was really a tremendous time uh, of celebration and reunion with all the family, uh, and bringing past leaders in. It was really an incredible time. And just to see San Diego excited, the great things, we're, we're super excited about our 2020 plan. Our goal is to have a small group in every community of uh, San Diego County. Right now we have about 100 small groups. Our goal is to have 330 small groups. That'll put a small group in every part of the county and really set us poised to evangelize the entire city. The exciting thing is that it's not just the numbers of people coming and the numbers of people getting baptized, but what those numbers represent really is the growth, the convictions, and the restored faith of the membership of the San Diego Church. And just incredible things happening, within, and it's exciting to see how God is able to work in amazing ways as we get our convictions back, we get our faith back, we're stepping out, reaching out to our city. God is just doing amazing things. Uh, we know that God is going to do even greater things in the future, and greater miracles are still yet to be seen, and we're so excited about that. Pray for us, and we'll pray for you. God bless you.